Uh, I was here from 19, uh, summer of 42 to the summer of 43. These are hangar one and hangar two. They were hangar big hangars, and, hangar and this is where the planes were kept for the equipment. Wow. And then they were all lined up on the ramp, which is right out here. So the runway would have been there. Oh yeah, there used right to be out. runways all through the where the lake is now. But they called the mat because it, you could go, the runway's going in all directions depending on the wind. Okay. And uh, the only thing that's left are the yellow brick portion. See the yellow brick over there? That's the original from the hangar? Yeah, that's original. That goes back to the war. It was built in 1942-43. It's a good thing that they did some memorials here. To... It was nice of them to do that. It's not nice. It's, also, some, it's something you owe, isn't it? They also gave us a brick. You notice that some of the bricks have names on them. How old were you when you when you enlisted? Twenty years. So years old. did you drop out of college or what? No, no. I had uh, graduated high school in '38. I went to work in my insurance office a couple of years. And, uh, it's such a boring job. Wait, so are you trying to tell me that you're 89 years old? 88. 88. I never would have guessed, would you? No, sir. Everybody says that so much. <laughs> I, would have, I would have taken you for his late 60s. So, uh, I come from a long-lived family, half Scandinavian, half Irish. You, so you were in the Pacific in the Second World War? I was in the and uh, our carrier was hit. And so we made it back to Pearl, and uh, that's where I spent the end of the war. How, how were you hit? Uh, a bomb. The ship was called the Franklin, and the, the, a bomb was dropped on it. The plane came out of some low clouds, and we were off uh, Kobe, by the main. And uh, this was in March, uh, March, March of 1945. And we took more casualties in that part of the war than ever before. That's where the kamikaze showed up. Okay. And you were not hit by a kamikaze, my understanding is, that the, the bomb was dropped. The ship was irreparably damaged. Fortunately, the engine room was working, so we were able to get out of there. We got back eventually to the Brooklyn Navy Yard where it was stopped. How many uh, casualties did, did you take in that? I knew we took over a thousand. A thousand casualties? Then? Yeah. Wow. Uh, over a thousand. Uh, were, you, were you hurt? Were you in one of the No, of the I was lucky. I, I would have been, I wouldn't be here talking to you. I was in my radar shop, which was right under the island, on the hangar deck. And the hangar deck is where we got most of the damage. The bomb uh, went through the deck, which was a wooden deck, and uh, and uh, blew up in the, in the hangar deck. Uh, but I fortunately was down the mess hall, which the two decks stopped. Okay. We got a lot of smoke, panic, but an officer, an uh, engineering officer, I never found this out until after the war, got us out and was uh, eventually awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his work. Um, not only taking, getting us out, but staying with the ship and helping getting it back to Pearl Harbor. The, uh, do you remember his name? Gary. Lieutenant Commander Gary. Lieutenant Commander Gary. Yeah. He deserves to be remembered for yeah, that. He certainly does. I never, I never knew who he was. All I remember was this, telling us to get forward, get forward. We all got down our bellies and crawled forward because the scope was so thick in the mess hall, we choked him while standing up. So to win the medal, he must have been risking his life. He went back three times. He went back three times. Yeah, I don't know what I was in the first or second, but there are pictures. Uh, you can get books out of front of You can see us standing there like a bunch of stranded squirrels on the light bulb all lined up. Yeah. What What brings you back to, uh, to the Glen where you were stationed uh, 67 years ago now, right? Well, I live here. Oh, you live here? Okay. I live uh, not too far away. A few miles away, but uh, I come back for Starbucks. I sit there and I look at the tower and I think of the old days. In the old days. Did, yeah. you, did you lose friends on the Franklin? Or? I lost some shipments. Lost some shipments. And a couple were saved. Thank you for your service. Thank, Thank you. you for your heroism. <laughs> uh, I wasn't a hero.